Ribbit. Well, so last month in January sometime, my port forwarding quit working, and I'm using this AT&T Pace PLC models 5268AC, and here's a software version. And I'm guessing there was a maybe a firmware update or something, and it broke the port forwarding on this stupid router. Uh, I had done like a factory reset to the firmware and that didn't do sh the factory reset didn't reset anything it did clear some logs and stuff but it still remembered all the machines and it remembered way too much stuff for it to be a really a real factory reset and on top of that <laughs> when it booted up it was the same firmware update and so i could guess that it just updated the firmware before everything booted up but I don't think that's the case because it didn't clear out enough stuff to be a real factory uh, like reset anyway. So whatever, it was a piece of trash. Uh, and I don't know, it's kind of annoying because the servers quit working and I messed with this for a while. It took me like, you know, like a week or two to figure this out. And at some point, like in the past, I've always used the IP address. So I have my FreeBSD sit server sitting over there. I have the IP address. So I just choose the IP address right here and then set up the port forwarding. And then it didn't work. So I kind of guessed that I did do a free BSD update about the time. Like it was a couple days before this quit working though. And so I wasn't sure if that was what it was, but in the end, it, it, this stuff quit working. And so what I did is come over here and try to use the Mac address instead. So if I come over here and just do like a little fake if config real quick, if I can type. And then you'll see right here your IP address, but you also see the MAC address. And so for whatever reason, I guess the AT&T stuff, it shows the MAC address the correct way. But for unknown machines right here, it's just showing you the MAC address. So you can see right here, it's the MAC address without the colons in between the hex stuff sitting there. So I checked with this and couldn't figure it out. I tried to use the MAC address. It didn't work. And then at one point, I decided to set my... FreeBSD server up as a DMZ, which I didn't want to do, but I just wanted to see if it works. So I came over here and I don't know if I, I can't remember at the time if I chose the MAC address or I put the IP address in there. Either way, I chose DMZ and it tells you if you're going to set your stuff up as a DMZ, it has to be uh, on a DHCP for whatever reason. And then it tells you you have to reboot your computer, which you don't really have to do, but you can just reset your network. So uh, I set this up. And then I want to say in the past, I've had this router for like maybe four or five years and have been with ANTT longer than that. But for whatever reason, it's never shown my FreeBSD box by its host name. Whenever I came over here and set this up as a DMZ, even though it didn't work, it did populate my host name. And I'm not sure like where it's pulling that at. It could be from the host name, but more than likely it's from uh, the host file. So I could say like less, uh, etc. host, hosts uh, with an S, and then go to the bottom of that file. And you can see like right here, Beastie Box, it's where it pulled this up. And never has it done this before. So this was just by luck. Uh, luckily, I just decided to do the DMZ. And then after it, even though it didn't work, it did like add this and so I, I just quit messing with it the next day i came in here and started jacking with it again and i had noticed that the day before i just didn't mess with it and so i figured well if there was a firmware update and it didn't work by ip address and i thought it might work by mac address then maybe it would work by host name and so i chose the host name and then added the stuff and come over here and add the port forwarding for this and it started working so if you come over here to status now you can see that it has the beastie box name and then over here it has the port forwarding and I guess it was just kind of by luck that I tried to set it up as a DMZ because I don't know if there's a way to force this right here to update. Like a Windows machine, it notices the AT&T junk, it notices and some of the other stuff it'll notice like their host names, but the FreeBSD box, and I'm not sure what it'd be like on Linux. My FreeBSD box is never in the whole time I've used AT&T ever known what the host name was. By setting up as a DMZ for some reason, even though it didn't work, it populated this host name sitting here then once I chose the host name, I was able to force like to port forward 
So I don't I haven't dug into this too much, but as far as I know, there's not a way to like this is just all automatic. There's not a way to tell it, hey, this is the host name of some machine I'm trying to use. And so if you're running this issue, you might just try to set up the DMZ to see if it will pick up the host name. Uh, and then, like, I guess basically on this machine, I had to, uh, I think if I say grab minus I minus B1 and then search DHCP for the et cetera, rc.conf is where this is set up in. And so you'll see right here, uh, I added this line right here. And then commented this line out and then uh, to restart my network instead of restarting the machine i just use the net start script etc net start restarts it but that's old and deprecated so i guess the correct way might be to do a service net if restart and then after running that command you'd say uh service routing net start because the net if might clear your routing tables and so you just do the routing restart and it'll put those back and then after that i tried to connect to the machine as a DMZ. It still didn't work. But then I had my firewall turned off just to test it. And it was trying to connect, trying to connect. And I put my firewall on and it disconnected right away. So it was trying to connect, but it couldn't connect. So what I'll claim right now is I think there was a firmware update and it broke port forwarding with IP addresses and MAC addresses. And I'm guessing it could have broke the DMZ as well because it didn't work for me, but I don't want to like mess with my stuff being a DMZ. So I didn't research that too much, but luckily by trying to set it up as a DMZ, it did recognize my FreeBSD's name. And then now I'm able to, like, if you come over here to status, then you'll see like it's recognizing this and I can port, port forward now. So if you're running this issue on the at and box, this 5268 AC, and you've been port forwarding with your IP address and Mac, Mac address in the past, you might want to try to use your host name if you can figure out a way for it to populate right here. Ribbit.